Hello guys, welcome back to the next video in this series where we are solving the IEC 2023 question paper for accountancy and in this video we are going to solve the OR question under question number 2. If you have missed out the previous videos, to check out the entire playlist and if you don't want to miss out the future videos then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is shared. Without further ado, let's get started. This is a retirement sum. The previous sum was a sum on death. So here we have three partners with the profit sharing ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2. Here we are required to pass the closing entry of retiring partners capital account. So what all do we have? On Tarun's retirement from the firm on 1st April 22, his capital account after all the adjustments stood at 1,14,000. So all the adjustments are done and we are given with this amount which is due to the partner. Now, the partner decided that Tarun to be paid 50% of the amount due to him immediately okay, and the balance by accepting a bill of exchange without interest payable at the expiry of 3 months. So This becomes a bills payable for the firm. Let's write the journal entry for this. So, the date will be the retirement date. He is retiring on 1st April 22, right? So, 2022, April 1. The journal that we will get here is, now Tarun is getting this, right? So, everything will be debited to Tarun's capital account. Tarun's capital account will be debited here, right? And 50% is paid to him immediately, so to bank account. So Tarun's capital account will be debited with 1,14,000. Bank account will be credited by 50% of this amount, which is 57,000. And the remaining 50% for that a bill is accepted by the firm that becomes a bill payable for the firm. So, bills payable account is credited here. Alright, that's also 57,000. Narration straightforward, you can write being 50% of the amount due to Tarun paid immediately and bill accepted for the remaining 50%. Right? Next one that we have, point number two. The continuing partners readjust their capitals and their new profit sharing ratio in the reconstituted firm. Any surplus or deficit in their capital accounts to be adjusted through their current account. This point to be noted here. The adjustment has to be done through current accounts. Okay. Upon readjustment of their capitals, Vinay's capital showed a deficit of 1000 while Arjun's capital had a surplus of 1000. Right. And all these adjustments have to be done via the current account. So if there is a deficit, like if Vinay is having a deficit of 1000, that means that deficit to be adjusted through the current account. That means he has to fulfill that deficit. That's why he has to, his current account will be debited. All right. It's happening on the same day. So it will be Vinay's current account debit, right? This has to be debited to his current account to Vinay's capital account. The amount will be 1000 already given in the question. The entire adjustment entries are given already. The amounts are given. Only you have to pass the journal entry in this case. Just a three mark sum here. And Arjun's capital had a surplus of 1000. So he will reduce his capital by 1000. And that's a straightforward debit to his capital account. Right? So keep your concepts clear. And that will make things easy for you. Arjun's capital account debit. to Arjun's current account. 
okay straight forward again keep it simple for yourself journal entries narration you should be able to write here being the deficit in vinay's capital account adjusted via his current account and here being the surplus in arjun's capital adjusted via arjun's current account all right these are the entries this which were required as a part of this sum hope this was helpful hit the like button if this was really helpful to you share with your friends who can benefit out of this as well we'll catch you all in the next video thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more